Howdy folks, I was asked recently uh, about programming on this FSI6 radio and what all these extra switches could be used for and the variometers. So in this video I'll go through some of uh, the programming mixes you can use, uh, some of the programming options, some of the different functions of these switches and I'll demonstrate it on this uh, hacked up uh, Volantex Mini Ranger which is now more like a, a Tundra, I call it the Vundra. It's using the six channel uh, receiver. I have flaps, ailerons, rudder and elevator on this. And I'll show you some of the mixes that I've got. On channel one, I have ailerons. Channel two, elevator. Channel three, uh, sorry, channel four, rudder. And channel three is the throttle. I haven't actually got a motor on this at the moment, but you'll just have to believe me. I have flaps on the C switch and have a look at the elevator there you'll see I have a little bit of elevator compensation as well I also have some rudder compensation or rudder mixing at least to go with the ailerons to help with nice smooth turning I have dual rates on the D switch and so I'll show you what dual rates does um, I'll hold a full elevator and full uh, aileron that's sports mode, that's normal mode. Sports mode, normal mode. So you can see that dual rate switch just gives you more movement uh, of all the control surfaces for a bit more aggressive flying. Also on the A switch I've set up a throttle safety switch, uh, which I'll show you a bit later on when I put a motor on it. But that means that if this switch is in the up position, the throttle won't work. If it's in the down position, the throttle works. Now that's a good safety switch to have and in working in that position because that means that when you first turn the radio on, if this switch isn't in the safe position, the radio will give you a warning. You won't be able to turn it on until you have the throttle safety switch on. So first I'll show you the throttle cut switch. Channel three, switch A is in the up position, that's the throttle safety switch, no throttle action. Switch down and now you've got the throttle. That's just a good safety switch, that one. So I'll show you how to set that up. So first thing we do is go down to switch assign. Down to idle mode and choose switch A or whichever switch you want to use. I want to use switch A. Long press of cancel to get out of that. Now we go up to throttle curve. Switch A up is the normal mode. Switch A down is the idle up mode. Um, now I don't really know what you would normally use that for but I'm going to use it to set up a throttle safety switch. So with the switch in the up position in normal mode push OK to go across to zero to uh, sorry low leave that at zero now go to one drop that down to zero go to two drop that down to zero and for the same for the other three points Done. So A in the up position, everything is zero. Down position, you've got the normal throttle curve. 100% for high, zero for low, straight line in between. There's the safety switch in the up position. Long press of cancel to save that. So now I can show you the throttle cut function. Uh, A switch is up, throttle doesn't work. Switch it down, throttle now works cut the throttle that way too. Now also the radio is turned off and the switch is on. Turn the radio on and you get the warning until you turn that safety switch on the radio won't start up and you have to switch it down to get the motor to work. Now let's go and uh, set up the dual rates and expo and it's this line here fly mode uh, and I want that on switch uh, D. And the reason for that is uh, the, the rates relate mostly to elevator and, and ailerons, and they're on the right-hand side. So I want to use the switch on the right-hand side. So let's swap that to switch D. That's top right-hand side. So now that's switch D in the up position, fly mode normal, down position, fly mode sport. So now we go to the dual rates screen and set up the dual rates, dual rates and expo. 
All right, so this is the dual rates and expo setup screen. And for channel one, channel two, and channel four, we get to choose two different um, choices of rates for normal flying and for sport flying. So for normal flying, I might, may want to drop the rates a little bit, which means drop the maximum movement of the um, channel one and the ailerons. Same for the elevator, same for the rudder. And we may want to introduce some expo as well, which sort of flattens out the curve in the middle. This gives softer movement around the centre of uh, movement of the stick. So channel one ailerons, uh, let's drop the rates down to 75%. There we go. And the expo, drop that down to minus 30. Now, it's important to note that some radios use minus numbers for adding expo. Uh, some radios use plus numbers. You've just got to watch this curve here and see that it's getting flatter around the middle. That's adding expo. So about 30% expo is pretty good. We'll do that. All right. Now in sport mode, uh, I think we'll leave it as 100% rate and zero expo. Long press of cancel to save that. And let's have a look at it on the display. All right, so that's elevator, aileron, and rudder. I've, d I've actually done this already for, for channel two and channel four as well. That's with the uh, switch D up, switch D down. You can see you get more movement of those three channels. That's dual rates and expo. In the switches assign screen, you can choose dual rates and expo or the flight mode, the idle mode, which is where I've got my uh, throttle safety switch, or another way of doing a throttle safety switch, but the switch works in the opposite direction, which I don't really like, so uh, I haven't, haven't used that one. Uh, but these are the only three choices that you can assign switches to in this screen. <clears throat> you don't get a choice, you have to assign a switch to it, which is annoying. So I've but you can actually turn the, turn the function off. Um, so I've, I've just put it on switch A, although it doesn't actually get activated. So that's throttle hold. So here's a throttle hold screen. Um, you can choose to have it on or off. If you have it off, the throttle hold function doesn't work. If you have it on, you can use a switch to set the throttle at a particular value. Uh, may be useful for a, a, a glider or something like that, but it's not something that I'd, I need to use, so I've ignored that one. I just leave that as off, and it doesn't function at all. Now to set up flaps. I have the right flap plugged into channel 6, the left flap plugged into channel 5. The flaps are operated by uh, the C switch, which is a three position switch which gives me sort of two levels of flaps. And using a mix, uh, I have mixed channel six as the master, channel five as the slave. So channel five just copies exactly what channel six does. Now I'll show you the mix. So this, you get three mixes with this radio. Mix number one is on. You can turn it on or off. The master is channel six, which is the right flap. Slave is channel 5, which is the left flap. And it's a positive mix of 100%, negative mix of 100% with no offset. So that just means that channel 5 does exactly what channel 6 is doing. And you'll see in the reverse screen, I had to reverse channel 6 so that channel 5 and channel 6 are sort of opera operating in opposite directions, which means both flaps go down together. So let's have a look at that in the display screen. There we go. So this is switch C. So, in that position the flaps are uh, level, in that position the flaps are half down, in that position the flaps are full down. Now you can see here on channel 2 I've also got a little bit of elevator compensation. Because when you deploy flaps, most models want to balloon up into the air. Uh, so you want to mix in a little bit of negative elevator to make it sort of fly level. And I'll show you that mix. Okay, mix two. Mix two is on. Master is the right hand flap. 
slave is the elevator, channel 2. And this time I don't want a lot of movement of the, of the um, elevator. So I've gone down to 10% positive, 10% negative, and I've given it an offset of 10% as well, which means that the elevator starts off level, and when you drop the flaps, it uh, drops down by uh, the same amount, or 10% of the amount of the flaps. Now, you'd have to probably play with these out in the field once you're flying it to get them exactly right. You may have to increase or decrease all of those numbers the same. Two position flaps. with a little bit of elevator mixed in. Now, if I wanted to, I, I could use one of the um, variometers, one of the knobs instead of the switch C. So there I have it on variometer B. So let's have a look at the display here. And now I'm operating variometer B and the mix with the, eleva uh, the elevator still works and you can sort of dial in whatever flaps you want. That's a bit awkward to fly that way. It's a lot easier to have a slider on the side of the radio to do this. Um, so I'd probably prefer to use the switch with this radio, uh, but that's just another option of what you can use things for. Now, if I didn't have um, flaps on this machine, I could use the variometers for uh, pan and tilt for a, a camera servo if I wanted to. Now I have one more mix as well, and that is mix three. Mix three is on. Now mix three is mixing a little bit of rudder in with the ailerons to help with coordinated turns. So channel one, ailerons is the master. Channel four, rudder is the slave. And for the moment, I've just got 50% of a mix. We'd again, we'd have to play with that in the field. That means that the rudder and the ailerons are sort of working together. I still have full uh, rudder function, but a little bit of rudder mixed in with the ailerons as well. Rudder. Ailerons with a little bit of rudder mixed in. There you go. Some of the possibilities of programming with the FSI 6 radio.